All right there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Red Tail Ray. On today's video, we're gonna do a hack that I saw um, where you use great stuff for your expanding, you know, spray foam. That's what I call it, spray foam, spray can of foam. This is a great stuff, big gap filler um, to fill and permanently seal and make a leak proof tire. I've had issues with my lawnmower tires now for all of last summer and this summer it's just been a pain. I had the tire replaced, they put in a new valve stem and it's still going flat. I'm tired of dealing with it. I s started looking around and I found some stuff on YouTube and I'm, I'm going to decide to try it. So what I've gone ahead and done is I took, I went and got one of these little tools, this is a valve stem removal tool. Focus. There we go. So this is a valve stem removal tool that takes out the cores out of the actual valve stem. So you pull those out unscrew them and I kept the caps because I'm gonna need those and basically this tube on these spray can foams fit really nicely almost perfectly into those valve stems um, so what I've seen a lot of people do is poke holes in the sidewalls um, I've done holes along the outside of the actual tread um, just for, you know, that's where the strength, most of the strength is in the, uh, of the tire is in there. I don't think it's really going to matter. But we'll see. We're going to spray the spray foam in here, and we're going to let it sit overnight. I do have the lawnmower up on a block, and I got plastic underneath it just because I know it's going to leak out and it's going to get everywhere. Um, so the tires are up in the air, free spinning, and uh, can't get... Uh, can't get any better than that. Jack stands would just be a little bit too high for this. I just lifted it up on a block. It's a pretty lightweight mower. But here we go. Let's see what happens. Use a big can. I'm not very good at estimating. Probably half a can for each tire. I'm not quite sure. We'll fill it up until it starts squirting out, I guess. Got a little mess going on there. Doesn't no matter, it breaks off a lot easier. A little bit later. I think I got that one pretty well filled. Let's go fill up the other side. We'll see. I mean, I guess if this doesn't work, then we'll find out. One of the guys had a really good tip when he was doing a snow uh, snow blower tire. Is it keep the valve stem up? So as the foam hits on the inside and falls down, it fills in the gaps a little bit more evenly. I'm kind of doing a little bit of rotate back and forth to make sure that that's gonna kind of fill up the whole area. You don't want any flat spots. I think for the amount of foam that's gonna go in here and the amount of foam that's gonna squish out of those holes that I I drilled out, I think we're gonna be just fine. But I'm gonna wait overnight to uh, let it all 
cure and heal and seal or whatever they do. Oh, feels like we're getting down there. So I'm not reinserting the valve stem cores. Yep, see foam's coming out that hole right there. I'm not doing the cores, I'm just putting the caps back on. Great, now I got it all over my shit. Oh great, this cap is broken. That's not good. New cap. Let's take one off the back here. Broken cap's not going to seal it in there very well, is it? Always have a backup. Oh yeah, this is going to turn it into a flipping mess. Gross. It does say on the can, wear gloves. And I had a glove on this hand, and the other hand I didn't, because I'm operating the camera. But, uh, shit happens. I'll go wash my hands here real quick. So there you go. It's coming out the top, coming out the sides. I'll go check on that other side. Maybe I can get a little bit more in here. The can's almost empty, so this big can might have just been a perfect amount to do both of these little tires. Might as well just top her off. I am a little bit more worried about this wheel. This is the right hand wheel. Um, this is the one that I've been having trouble with. Problems with. And this is also when mowing my yard I'm in the back mowing the mound and I start at the top and I spiral down it. So the right hand side gets a lot more weight um, put on that side. So that's the side the shoots off of. And I think that can is pretty much empty. It seems to be not flowing so much foam anymore. A little bit. Get it as much in there as possible. So I'm going to cut the video off right here. I'm going to put the uh, bell stem cap back on. And uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Should be a whole bunch of dried up, squished out foam coming out those holes. We'll see. All right, so it's only been about a half an hour and I was kind of starting to worry a little bit because I kept hearing the foam coming out a lot more on the on the left-hand size tire. So I decided I'd take a look at it again and a lot of foam is coming out. I mean, all that foam has come out of it already. So I got <clears throat> more than enough foam, definitely more than enough. And the holes were good on this side. But what I also found out, so I was spewing and making so much noise because someone had green slimed this tire. Look at how gross that is. So when I poked it with a stick and a little pet safe yard flag, all this stuff spat out at me. And it's a good thing I always wear my safety glasses and it was kind of in a downward direction anyways, but all that green slime was spewing out of that tire every time I, I poked it and messed around with it a little bit. So here's a quick tip from a former tire changer, auto mechanic, extraordinaire, don't ever use this crap. It is dangerous. If it gets in your eyes, or if it gets in a mechanic's eyes and they don't know that you've slimed your tire, or you know tried that tire seal stuff, and it sprays them in the eyes, um, that could really you know suck for that individual. It could really suck for you if they decide to turn around and come after you. And it never works. I mean, obviously I didn't have a tire leak in, in this tire, but ugh. So. Found that out, somebody had slimed this tire. The other tire, not so much, because I just had that one replaced. But, what a what a mess. Glad I put that plastic down. Alright, so we're back. 
Next day. Looking pretty good. Um, let's see, passenger side tire is nice and full, nice and hard. That one worked out really well, even with all that tire slam on there. Passenger side, not so much. Lots of squish. Doesn't seem like it filled. No. Nope. If I remember right, hit pause right now and go back. Didn't I fill this thing for like a minute? Where did all the phone go? Why didn't this work? Look at that. That didn't work. Fail. And now I suppose two. Yeah, that valve stem cap ain't coming off. We gotta go back and get some more foam. And drill out holes in the tire again and try refilling it just from the tire.